Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Bus Force. This is video three, and today we're talking about the filter module down over here. So let's go to a new preset, and for this one, let's take a listen to see if everything's routed properly. Okay, so we could hear our track fine, and we do need to know where this is coming from. So if we click on the sat path, we can see that this is the only one that's going through. The dry path, the comp path are muted, as we can see down over here in this diagram. So we're only listening to the saturation path. So if we want to just target the filter, just listen to the filter by itself, what we can do is we can look at this path here and say, okay, our signal's coming in, it's going into the EQ, it's coming out of the EQ into the filter, out of the filter into the compressor, and so on and so forth. Then it comes out of the compressor into the saturation, which we're hearing right now. So we can go over here to the sat path, we can disable the EQ, we want to listen to the filter, so we're going to leave that alone. We can disable the compressor, but since we're on the sat path, we can't necessarily disable the saturation here, but we can also turn it off here just in case if we want to do that for completeness sake, right? We can also turn off the compressor here and the EQ here. Now this is kind of just a double down of turning this off here, but it's kind of just good practice to know these switches are there and you can do it either here or on these individual switches by themselves. So with the filter here, let's take a listen to see how that sounds. So if you haven't noticed already, this is basically a filter that we would find in any kind of synthesizer, right? We have our high pass and then we have our low pass and they both have peaks. So they both have resonance, which is really cool. And in conjunction, this filter can also act as a band pass, something kind of like this. So we might ask ourselves, what is the point of having a filter in something like this? So what's really cool is the modulation, or not the modulation, the routing things that we can do with this filter. So let's say for our compressor path that we want only this filtered signal to be compressed and then mixed in with our dry path signal later on. And this is kind of the concept to start getting your mind turning a little bit, right? So in this compressor path, if we take a look at this here. If we unmuted this here and muted our saturation path, we now have this filter, what we're doing right over here. And now this is gonna be going into our compressor and then going to our output. So if we wanted to mix something like that, we can totally do that. We can narrow down a very certain frequency amount and then compress the hell out of that thing and then mix that in with our saturation later on through an independent path or mix that in with a dry path is maybe only going through an EQ, maybe something kind of like that, right? So. If we think in our minds, let's say we want our sound the, the first time it comes in through this first dry path, maybe we want that EQ. So it's technically not really dry anymore, right? But we want this EQ and then going to our output. For the next path, we want this filter to make that band path shape, this shape that we did down over here. We think that's a cool idea, right? And we just want to compress only that section that it's filtering. So that's why we would do that here through this comp path. We would filter it and then we would send it through the compressor and then we can also have it outputting the compressor path right over there. Now we can also do that with the filter down over here. So we can have it filter it, then it comes down after it's filtered and then only that part gets saturation. Or we can disable that entirely and just have just the saturation do the saturation. And they all come in at the very end and then get mixed together. And then these knobs up here is going to be how we're going to be balancing something like that. So that's the really cool part of kind of thinking how you want to process your signal in different ways and different combinations and stuff like that. So that's kind of the cool part of the filter here is because we could really hone in on a certain spot of our track or our bus and only saturate that portion of it, only compress that much of it, something kind of like that. So the filter in itself is, is a pretty basic concept, right? We have our high pass and then we have our low pass down over here and then we have our resonance or our peak as it's labeled over here. So yeah, that's kind of really it in a nutshell. It's not too complicated, but I did kind of want to highlight why something like this would be useful as far as the different routings in the, uh, in the plugin here. So hopefully you learned something and thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we're going to be diving into this compressor, which sounds very, very good. So I uh, look forward to that video coming very soon and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.